Um, I will make this uh, video for the patrons first. I want to get this out to you today so you can make this an official trade. Um, and then I'll, I'll give you levels coming up um, during the uh, next two days. I'll give you some levels to look at for the long run. But this is a long-term play um, with Roku, R-O-K-U. And uh, then I'll release this out to the public a little bit after, do some updates with it uh, without the levels. So here we go. Let's jump into it. We have the... Um, Roku on monthly. Look at this beautiful candle. Um, the month has plenty of time left, but we're getting into Santa Claus rally area. I don't know if that's going to be seasonally true or not, but uh, market seems to be getting on a bullish um, uh, turnaround. So I, I, I'm not sure how far and how fast this market's going to go, but uh, we need to stay bullish until we lose um, on the overall market until we lose the 8 MA uh, EMA on the daily and lose the 20 and things like that because we, we're, we're above it and then we may change our point of views. Yes, we flip flop. We are traders. That's what we do. So here we go um, on the monthly beautiful candle. Just want to show you that so we have plenty of time to get back up to retest the uh, 20 and the 8 EMA on the on the monthly which is up at 285 so we'll keep those resistance in mind but we did on the rsi come all the way down to the 50 line and had support there that's uh very valuable for um the uh, market and <clears throat> um this area in a bullish market will get a bounce there typically um not always at the 50 but maybe 45 40 50 you know 50 60 sometimes on super bullish and then the macd seems to cross into the downside but this is a monthly chart huge time frame so we have plenty of time for this thing to either retest that leading line leader line or if we get brand new highs on this um on, on price and in a lower high then we'll see if we get divergence or whatnot but uh we have plenty of time to see what this is going to do and we want to pay attention to the lower time frames meaning the weekly and the daily mostly for our type of trades um on on the patreon so we have the weekly um what we're looking at is a one two one two and now a one two again so why is this a a one two on the weekly let me get rid of these to the side um this is going to be a one two for us because it came down to the 618 retracement and that's um that's a tell sign that that's pretty deep of a retracement right there to the 618 golden ratio that's a little too deep for like a wave four pullback and um we are in log uh log pricing here so um that's why it, it looks a little distorted but uh that's 618 retracement and so that gives us a clue that this is a one two so that that is super super bullish for roku that's uh it looks like a super cycle is happening um so we're gonna stick with it okay um you see that we are way overextended on the MACD, headed down here. So we haven't started to move up. We're starting to creep sideways. But um, th again, we're getting early on this one. And we'll stick with it for a long time. Uh, we were oversold. And that's a um, great spot on the weekly for us to go along there, um, at least to try to, to gauge these bounces. And we'll be in and out on short term and add some long-term plays onto it. So um, there's many different ways to play it, but I'll give you an example here in just a minute. Um, going to the daily. On that daily time frame, we came down to support. I'll show you over here. We had support in the past where we had hit here. Resistance, support, support, and support once again. So that was a great place, at least for a bounce. And um, now um, we are above the 8 EMA. We're battling. We are above the 20, but we're battling. We need to close daily over this 20. That would be very exciting for us. It's about two points underneath right now. Um, so we're getting the daily cross. So that's going to give us, uh, you know, weeks um weeks on out to uh to play bullish 
anyway, and we'll have to check out the indicators as we go and do updates on Roku. And um, so we're getting across there. We bounced off oversold area and uh, are making our way to the 50 line here. And we'll probably get a little resistance there um, coming up to the MAs. And so we're playing this one pretty aggressive after this gap. And I'm going to go down to the 65. We're still in the downtrend technically, but um, we're looking for this nice reversal. And ultimately, we want to get to this 272 area. Um, that would be a nice resistance there uh, along with this gap. And um, we'll check that out, see if we can work our way up. All right. Um, going down to the 65-minute chart. We did um, come right up. I, I had Roku yesterday and I got out here at the expected move. Um, and then uh, over news, it gapped way over, gapped over everything. Um, so there's a huge gap here. Um, we gapped over this, this uh, uh, falling pivot right here. We had a lot of hits on it. So it's very valid and it coincides with the gap um, the gap up and we're holding that gap. That's why I entered this trade. Um, this is also a uh, support. I don't have the line here, but you see the support that my um, my crosshairs are showing. This is all support, resistance, 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 all here. And we're holding that area. It coincides with the gap. So this is an easy short-term trade for me. We get down underneath and close hourly underneath this line and this um, this uh, area here and the gap and we're gonna we're gonna get out of this trade but we're holding it so we got into it um, this was a tail candle but I'm not afraid of that we want to uh, work our way we're inside on this hourly we want to work our way up and hopefully uh, tomorrow if we do hold um, if we get a nice move today we'll we'll, uh, we'll get out of our trade and we'll switch it to an in out spread right now we're using weeklies and uh, um, so we want to get over on the very, very short term, just get over this candle here to invalidate it. Otherwise, we're inside and we're holding our uh, our area here, our support. Okay, so that's how simple it is. Um, every once in a while, when you see something like this, you salivate and you have a really good place to put your back against and you want to use those uh, weeklies. You can, you can go two weeks out. It doesn't matter. Um, depends on what your capital is. Yeah, the market is fading a little bit. And so it's going to put some pressure on this. But uh, we're still bullish on Roku. And uh, it's an official trade unless the market really, really starts to tank. And then we'll have to look at some other uh, things that are happening and uh, go back to um, sh shorting the market and, and not really doing individual names. But uh, we, we are cautiously bullish bullish on the market so we're going to stick with roku here and uh watch this trade happen today let's see what goes on um if we get out of um this trade and it starts to close the gap we're still bullish on and this could possibly be a one two three four five and then a wave two pullback and uh maybe hold at one of the gaps and um and then we'll go bullish again uh and and start going on that wave three so for now i believe this is still wave one and i think we have some room to to still go and um as long as we hold this area all right so that's it you guys and you get this out to the patrons and then uh you'll um we'll, <laughs> this will be a little bit older for all the other uh free um, updates here for uh, but we'll uh, we'll continue to update you on Roku. Thanks. Have a good day.